as athletes, we live in these little worlds or these little bubbles that's kind of so focused around our sport. And I think at times it's necessary to be so focused on one thing in order to achieve what we really dream for. But over listening to these talks and being a part of this conversation, I've learned that there, you have a great impact as an athlete in Canada. And the more you open up and the more you share and let people into that journey, the more you're going to benefit and the more people will benefit from you. When I'm not competing with the team, um, I work as a nurse um, during the off season. I went basically straight from training with my team in that high performance environment um, to working with coworkers in the hospital. Um, sometimes I was working in the COVID units. A lot of the topics covered in the CAN talks by the athletes, um, I can really relate to in my experiences so far, like in work and what's made our team at, at work so successful. I think as athletes, we're people of action. So when the thing that we can do most to contribute is stay at home and do nothing, I found that really difficult for me personally. Uh, we're also all getting to know this new beautiful accessory that we all have to wear now. So I put my uh, fiance to work with this 3D printer and we started printing up these uh, PPE ear savers. And um, yeah, just trying to find ways to stay home, stay safe, but still be involved in our community. My action of training out in the rain one day, simply doing my job, resulted in the message from someone on Instagram who saw me, got motivated, went home, and went outside and did their workout that they'd plan on skipping. We never know what actions or words will leave that indelible mark and spark a change in people. Uh, so that's why I believe that the most important way that we can have an impact is to stay uniquely and authentically true to yourself. Courage is an understanding that fear and nervousness precede progress. We need to make a conscious choice that our actions will reflect courage and bravery. That courage and bravery will outweigh our fear and worries. So we need to live our lives with bravery and courage in order for us to progress, in order for us to chase our dreams, in order for us to achieve our dreams, and in order for us to transform our lives for the better. Practicing gratitude, I think in the beginning, definitely takes a lot of practice, but then once you start to begin and build that habit, it begins to make a huge difference in your life. You're going to go through struggles and challenges, and I think it's important to acknowledge them but not sit in them it's to be grateful that these challenges have occurred in your life and to move forward learning from them essentially um, I would like to say a little special surprise to Danielle de Plouet from para basketball as well as Jeremy Hall from para rowing that you are now can fund recipients thank you so much guys yeah thanks a lot I mean Hard to put into words what that's going to mean. It's, uh, it's huge. Like, yeah, I can't say I have have the words at this moment. Yeah, I think for me that's uh, just so motivating to keep training and keep working hard during these like crazy times. And yeah, thanks so much to everyone at Can Fun for recognizing, you know, the importance of sport and bringing us all together through times like this.